way of being able to predict what's going to happen. What's your prediction then for this fight? I feel he, he is repetitive and his foot patterns, uh, he is almost stuck in, in, in a routine. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Nate Diaz! Can put opponents to sleep. I find that absolutely fascinating. Uh, is that your favorite way to win? Very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, and no! Uh, uh, couldn't join us tonight. You know, you guys are going to go at each other pretty soon. People were talking about this, but he no, did. Coming. He did send a message. <laughs> he sent a message. For the winner by majority decision, the notorious Connor. So your 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 fighting career. A lot of other people are out there in, in your situation, and they're flying around in private jets, and they're getting the Bentley. That's not you. Declaring the winner by TKO. Defending your title, yes, against uh, George St. Pierre next month. Mm -hmm. Now, due to a rear naked choke, and there it is. Sports Center, look, shit is. I don't get it. No. My life calling, it's, it's not an easy road as a fighter. Not many make it, maybe, you know, 99 people try. KO, and now, the interim UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I used to get my haircut three, four times a week, man. Like uh, one haircut, two haircuts and a lining. So you gotta stay looking good. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new. Good. Yeah, exactly. That's the, that's the only way. The last couple of weeks, I always feel like I'm cramming. For the winner by split decision, Carolina Seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. And I'm the best most dangerous striker in the world, and everybody's already claiming that I'm pound for pound the best striker in the UFC, so. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still! Like mouthpiece, you don't need gloves to go inside a cage. You fought twice yeah. in the same mind. Seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by TKO, and still! When you have 27 fights, you know, you. Yeah. The winner by tap out due to a north south choke. Jake the juggernaut. Yeah, you know, really? Yeah, that's, that's just clearing my mind and just pretty much just focusing on being lost in the moment. Unanimous decision, Donald Cowboy Sarah. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Nate Diaz! 
please welcome UFC Bantamweight champion Cody Garbrandt. Round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and who? Contender Cynthia Calvillo. Decision, Carla Cookie Monster is Future champion Francis Ngano. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed you. The karate hottie Michelle Waterson, also part of Team Body Armor, could not be with us today. The winner by unanimous decision, Tisha, the tiny tornado. All right, Donald the Robbie Lawler. I think it comes to a halt. We have a new champion in Roy McDonald. And still. Does she have a shot against Ronda, in your opinion? No, not anywhere. And new. Weidman Rockhold, who's your pick? In that fight, I like Weidman in that fight. And new. I've never, never totally been on the McGregor bandwagon. I'm going, man, all those going to run through this guy. Wow. You're playing the winner by knockout. And new. I mean, you just never know what you're going to get. You just don't with Jose Aldo. If you guys pushed on me and said, yeah, I got to have a pick, I got to have a prediction, I think that Edgar beats him. Jose Aldo Jr. Brock hasn't been in the ring in five years. Hunt was the number one contender within the last calendar year. You don't have to exactly be an MMA expert to be able to see how this fight goes. Hunt's going to wreck him. Brock Lesnar. Shevchenko's just simply not as good of a fighter as Holly Holm. I think that Holly Holm is going to beat her. Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. You think Connor beats Nate in the rematch? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. Look, the outcome's the same. I, I, I admire his courage, but it's the same thing. They just fought. They, we just but, saw this fight. The notorious on paper and in theory, I think it tips towards Bisping. In reality, I know it tipped towards Dan Henderson because it already happened. I got to go with Henderson because of our past. By unanimous decision, and still, the undisputed USC middleweight. Chael, what are your thoughts on McGregor versus Alvarez? Okay, I love the fight. Nobody's running over Eddie Alvarez. It has never happened. It isn't going to happen. You can beat Eddie, yeah. but you're going to need some time and probably the judges and maybe things don't go that way. Nobody is running over Eddie Alvarez. And if Connor comes out and tries to do it, and I think he needs to try to do it, he's a front runner, much like Vitor, and then just hope nobody's left standing. Uh, I just don't think he's got the endurance. Declaring the winner by knockout. Holloway versus Pettis is, is, is really tough because Holloway, boy, is he ever on a run. But he is taking on a two-time world champion. If I got to make a prediction, you know what? I'm going to go with Pettis. UFC, featherweight champion of the world, Max Bless. I'm trusting that Ronda has done what she's told us she's done. She's put the time in the gym. Ronda Rousey reclaims the uh, world championship. The winner by TKO.